Today we're talking about arteriovenous malformations, or AVM for short. A lot of times people ask me, what is an AVM, or an arteriovenous malformation? And it's a very good question. Arteriovenous malformations can be very complicated. I'd like to draw an AVM for you so you can help understand this process. An AVM is basically a tangle of very, very immature blood vessels in the brain. It almost looks like a bird's nest, but very immature arteries. There are many arteries that feed into an AVM, and typically there are very large veins that drain the AVM. I'll label these to be clear. These are veins, and these are arteries. The arteries, or fire hoses, bring a lot of pressure and blood into the AVM. And veins, as you remember, veins you have in your arm are very soft and weak. And these veins don't like the amount of blood flow that comes through the AVM. This AVM lives in the brain tissue. And so it's a potential that all this blood going through the AVM can cause the AVM to break or bleed, which can cause very, very serious problems in the brain. Approximately three to 4% of AVMs will rupture every year. So neurosurgeons like to treat AVMs to prevent that from happening. There are many different treatment strategies to treat an arteriovenous malformation into someone's brain, and I'll quickly go through all of those. The first one, and one of the most tried and true procedures, is brain surgery to physically remove the AVM from the brain. The way this is done is with a small incision on the scalp, we remove some bone from the skull, which we put back later, and we physically remove the AVM. An AVM is removed by coagulating or sacrificing arteries that feed the AVM to reduce the blood flow, then we coagulate and remove the veins and we physically then take the AVM out of the brain. This cures the AVM. Now sometimes AVMs have so much blood flow that go into them that we need to slow that blood flow down before surgery. This way we can accomplish by taking blood catheters up into the, our AVM and injecting various substances like glue or a material called onyx, which is like black toothpaste that can slow down the AVM. These catheters are placed in the artery and then we simply inject that material in the AVM to slow the AVM down. We don't think we can cure the AVM with that approach, but it helps us to operate on the AVM because there's less blood flow. The last option I'll discuss is something called gamma knife radio surgery, which is a form of radiation therapy that is very accurately targeted to the AVM. It's an outpatient procedure. You only need typically one dose of radiation, and that radiation over two to three years potentially helps melt or remove the AVM from the brain. This is a minimally invasive approach, uh, and some patients like this approach for their AVM. The decision on what treatment modality to use is a complex decision, and we can discuss this further at your clinic visit.